Such heroic nonsense. You won't be so lucky next time. What's good everybody, this is the Game Hunter channel, another episode Transformers Earth Wars and in this episode let's take a look to the different classes of Decepticons, right? Because remember the first look, I talk a little bit about some warriors, some, I don't know, ranged units, so how about if we go back and check my team, okay, we're gonna talk just a little bit about the different classes in the game and then we're gonna go into a couple attacks, you guys are ready? Let's roll! Uh, I should have stopped saying let's roll. That sounds like an Optimus. Uh, I'm sure Megatron is not going to be happy if I keep saying that. You know, I'm playing with a Decepticon, so let's keep everything Decepticon, right? As always, I always play with the bad guys because they always lose, so they need some love. And there is a couple phrases. Oh, there's a couple phrases of Megatron. There are like a, I think there are phrases of Megatron that I can use pretty much in my daily life. And that is so cool. There is one that I love that is, I believe is the, it say like this, the fun has begun, but it's not a joke. And I believe that is the most epic, epic, epic phrases that you can hear from Megatron. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So let's start analyzing the different classes in the game. All right. Let's start with the leader, Megatron. Uh, how can you unlock Megatron? Well, you know what? At the end of the first part of the campaign, you're going to be able to unlock Megatron. So don't worry about it. Uh, one really funny... <laughs> I just remember something. When we were testing the game with some other YouTubers, for some reason, the developers, they made the last uh, stage of the campaign so difficult that it took us forever to unlock Megatron. It was like a level level god it was ridiculous tough but it was so much fun once that everybody was able to unlock megatron well of course if you play with the decepticons otherwise you need to get those uh, uh, autobots come uh, anyway so let's start talking with the, well, megatron in this case the leader all right the class description say that the leader is the toughest of all prioritize defenses and smash through walls um that is something that you really gonna appreciate you're really gonna appreciate when you have megatron and you're gonna be able to bring down walls just using the leader ability right um like i said at the beginning of the game it's a little bit tough when you play the single player i have to go back and play one more time the single player campaign because when i when i did that was uh probably in the early stages probably it was almost alpha i don't know something like that but uh maybe the campaign already changed that's something that we're gonna double check in future episodes but having the leader bringing down walls is a must is a must that's gonna help you big time big time when you try to attack a uh, autobot base bludgeon class warrior and i think i mentioned the warrior yesterday it can take the hit you can say it right there in the class description can take a lot of punishment uh, one more time, when we were testing the game, at the beginning, it was a little bit tough because nobody has a warrior. So it was a little bit complicated to go through the first couple of missions. But once that you have the warrior, once that you have your tank, things are going to change for the best. Trust me, you're going to love it. And also, they can use the ram ability. They can ram over objects. That is super, super cool. It's similar to the ability of the leader. So you can actually go through walls and stuff like that. But the ramming ability of the warrior is critical, critical, critical. You can put the warrior in front, receive all the damage, and all the rest of the troops can take care of the enemy. Starscream. Class information, air, high damage from medium range. Can perform powerful airstrikes. Another really interesting class. Super useful to provide support to the warrior, okay? At the beginning, I'm not sure if you start with Starscream. I don't think so. But once that you unlock air unit or, yeah, air class unit, you're going to see a big difference in your strategy, right? At the beginning, you're just going to go for like a melee attack, all full frontal punishment. But once you have air, you can support your troops from distance. And again, the airstrike is critical. You can use the airstrike to bring down the mortar, which is one of the most difficult defensive building at the early stages of the game. Soundwave. 
a deployer. Hmm. Deploys extra bots into the battle, guiding and buffing them with their beacon ability. Um, of course, you guys know Soundwave. Do I, do I need to explain about Soundwave? If you guys don't know what Soundwave is, please, please just go to Wikipedia, go to any Transformer fan site because this is another of my favorite Decepticons. And I love the fact that it's a generation one because I cannot stand the, the new Soundwave. This is the one that I love. It's so cool with the old, old school cassettes and everything. <laughs> you cannot go wrong with this Soundwave. And again, you can deploy bots on the battlefield that's going to help some way to go through the enemy base and you can use the beacon ability to tell those bots what to attack first mm, interesting breakdown class information gunner high damage from long range can shoot over walls you guys remember in the first look episode i was able to unlock a breakdown and actually it was a it was an awesome surprise shooting with that i think it was like a grenade launcher from distance Woo, that was amazing. And I noticed right away that the range of the gunner is longer than the range of the air unit. Hmm. All right, let's go to the next one. And the last class is going to be the scout. Quick and helpful. Buildings they destroy provide extra ability points. And I think we didn't talk about ability points yesterday. Every time that you destroy a building, you're going to get ability points. And then you're going to be able to use the abilities of your transformers. Okay. You cannot use all the abilities in one go because otherwise it's completely, completely imbalanced. It's going to be such a mess on the screen. Right. So in order to perform your abilities, you need ability points. And the scout provide extra. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Plus, Kickback has a really interesting ability, which I'm going to show you right now. It's called the Glass Gas Mine. Cover target area in Glass Gas, making all targets private, taking 40% more damage for a few seconds. Well, 40% damage because of the level of my ability, which actually is level one. <laughs> but it's super, super useful. So, uh, like I say, every single class has a, a specific, specific function in your team. So the idea is to find the correct or the most, the, the, the combination of truth that make you feel more comfortable, depending on your game style, to attack your opponent. All right, let's go to a couple attacks. All right, it's time to pick our squad. And in this case, we're gonna use characters of different classes, okay? We're gonna use the leader, we're gonna use a warrior. Oh, hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, that's the warrior level two, perfect. Perfect, remember, I got another Lungeon right there, which is one star. And uh, now we're gonna use probably ba -ba -bam, Sunway, two stars. Uh, our warrior, deployer. Now we need a uh, air unit, probably star scream. And finally, let's use breakdown. Okay, the gunner. All right, so we got the leader, deployer, warrior, air, and also a gunner. Let's Go to the first battle. Let's see what we can do. All right. So the idea will be to deploy um, between the warrior and the leader first. Because that way you can create a path for the rest of the units. If you deploy the air units first, trust me, you're going to go done in two seconds. All right. So we're going to start with 13 energy, which is like uh, the ability points, all the stuff that we were talking about. And some buildings provide extra ability points. So it will be interesting to destroy those first. But what we're going to do... Because the mortar is such a pain, we're going to try to target the mortar first, okay? Number one, remember, this is the deploy area. When you deploy your units, well, that's what it's called, deploy area. But <laughs> you're going to deploy probably the warrior first. Legend. Legend. Megatron. Now it's Soundwave, air, Stop. and at the end, we deploy our gunner. See, now the energy point that I need in order to use the abilities is showing at the bottom of each ability. We're going to try to run and get close to the mortar if it's possible. Let's see if we can get into that area. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're going to use a nurse drag in this area too. Wow. Breakdown is doing some decent, decent damage over there. Let's see if we can get somebody else going. Blungeon is down. He was able to get all the hits at the beginning of the battle. Right now, I got the leader. I got the rest of my troops doing some damage. Let's see if we can put an airstrike in the middle because otherwise Megatron is going to go down. Soundwave, it's time to call the bots and start attacking that cannon. Otherwise, we're going to go down. I got a feeling that we're going to go down. No, of course not. Look at that. Soundwave, Starscream. And look at the gunner. Look at the range of the gunner. It's just ridiculous. So, so, so ridiculous. Now, epic victory. Let's go for the next battle. 
And at the end of the battle, remember, we're going to receive some XP, which is super important. Ooh, keep increasing the troop power. I'll take that. Uh, how much we got? Star screen going to 98. Sweet. What about breakdown? Breakdown? No, almost there. No, you didn't make it. All right, let's go to the next battle. All right, battle number two. Let's go, and this time let's use the scout. A kickback with three stars. Uh, let's go with Megatron. Uh, we're not going to use an air unit. We're just going to use... Oh, we can use probably two air units. That's not a bad idea. We can try that. Breakdown. I'm loving breakdown because of the range. I really love breakdown. So we're going to get that one. Uh, probably Thundercracker. And also Starscream. Okay. I think we can do this. Current... Squad power, 557, 557, that's so bad. <laughs> that's so bad. But I'm trust, I trust Megatron. Oh, you know what? We should probably change. <sighs> Let's change uh, Thundercracker. Yeah, Thundercracker, you're out. Let's bring Legend, okay? Because I need a warrior. I'm definitely a warrior. You see, that increased my current squad power big time. Let's go. To battle! Okay, and in the description of this video, you can see a link in order to join the pre... Uh, the, the beta, okay? The beta, the, remember, this game is not yet released, so if you want to join the beta, click in the link in the description and try to access the beta of Transformer Earth Wars. Okay, one more time. What are we doing? Um, I'm a big fan of targeting the mortar. The mortar is so deadly against air units, it's not even funny. So we should... Probably try to attack from this area. Hmm. Then we can ram directly against the mortar. That's probably a good idea. Bludgeon. Bludgeon. Megatron. Megatron. And breakdown. Breakdown is going to the back. Ooh, Optimus. 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 Nah. Somebody destroy Optimus, guys. Optimus is going to bring us down. Optimus is going to bring us down. Nice. Okay. Optimus down. Now let's try to target the mortar. Good job, we start charging. Nice, nice. Now we have a big opening. Breakdown is doing some decent, decent damage from distance with that grenade launcher. Uh, let's use kickback in this area. So we're gonna use the, the glass. See, every, every build in that area is gonna receive extra 40% damage. Super, super useful. All right, let's use that one one more time in this area. Kickback, I don't have enough. Ability point now. The energy is really, really low. And now we're gonna use the airstrike. Star scream. Do some damage in that area, my friend. Oh yeah. <laughs> we definitely did a lot of damage against that anti-air turret. And Blondio was able to bring it down. One go. Good job, fellas. Decepticons. Sweet victory. One more time. We're gonna get a little bit of XP. Keep back 101. I'll take that any any day. Thank you so much. Megatron is going to 175. Increasing the team power. Sweet. Uh, breakdown is almost... Ooh, nice. 104. We're leveling up every single unit in this one. No, except for Blanio. Thank you. Thank you. You have to ruin it. You have to ruin it. Even Starscreen is going to get to the next level. <laughs> All right, fellas. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Transformers Earth Wars. Um, you know, like Megatron say, I will crush you with my bare hands. This is the Game Hunter. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.